द सर्किल पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट माइनस वन कम जीरो एंड टचिंग वै एक्सिस एट जीरो कम टू आलो पास थ्रू द पॉइंट सो वी हेव द सर्किल पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट माइनस वन कम जीरो एंड टचिंग द वै एक्सिस एट जीरो कम टू वी हेव टू फैंड द अदर पॉइंट थ्रू विच दिस सर्किल पास थ्रू सो वी हेव फोर आपशन now let's try to find out the equation of the circle so that we can substitute these points and we can see which one of them will be satisfying that first we have been given that it is touching the y axis at 0 comma 2 so let me join this and try to get a rectangle here from that we can understand what will be the coordinates of the center for that what i will do i'll join here and i'll join here then what we have here is a rectangle because we know at point of contact it is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees now if this coordinates of c is 0 comma 2 what will be the coordinates of o we know the distance here from o to c is radius so let us say that distance equals to r then what will be the coordinates of the center it will be minus r comma 2 the coordinates of the center will be minus r comma 2 because this is 0 comma 2 we are coming on the horizontal line by a distance of r how we know this is a horizontal line because it's a perpendicular to y axis it should be parallel to x axis so this point is minus r comma 2 the coordinates of the center are minus r comma 2 now we have a point on the circle which is minus 1 comma 0 now find out this distance and equate it to radius so we should be able to get the value of r that will give us the equation of the circle so let's write down we know that OB is equals to radius. What is OB? OB square equals to R square. R OB square is R minus one whole square plus two square equals to R square. Let us simplify that. We'll get R square minus two R plus one plus four equals to R square. we can cancel out and we can get 2r equals to 5 or r equals to 5 by 2 so we got the equation of the circle now we understood that the equation of the circle will be x what is the equation of the standard form x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square where h comma k are the coordinates of the center and r is the radius here our h comma k are given by minus r comma 2 so it will become x plus 5 by 2 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to r square that is 5 by 2 whole square now once we got this equation we can go back to these points and we can substitute and see which one of them will satisfy this there will be only one point which will satisfy that and that point will be minus 4 comma 0 the other way how you can solve this problem is you can just join o to b then you can join o to a now we know that these two will be congruent triangles because this is radius and radius so whatever if you are able to find out this distance xb ax also will be equal to xb now how to find out that distance easily we can find it out because we know that xb equals to square root of ob square minus ox square that is equals to square root of 5 by 2 whole square minus 2 square which is equals to 3 by 2 so this distance is 3 by 2 this is also 3 by 2 then what will be the coordinates of a minus 1 minus 3 that is minus 4 comma 
zero. So that is another way how we can find it out that minus four comma minus four comma zero is a point on the circle. Now let's have a recap of this problem. The circle passing through the point minus one comma zero and touching the y-axis at zero comma two also passes through which other point? Now, if it touches the y-axis at zero comma two, then this perpendicular distance will be equal to radius. And the by definition, the perpendicular distance from y-axis is equals to x-coordinate. So this coordinates of the center will be minus r comma 2. Now we know that there is a point minus 1 comma 0 through which the circle is passing through. So the distance between OB should be equal to radius. OB square equals to r square. We can solve for r. Once we got the value of r, we know the equation of the circle is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is r square which will give us x plus 5 by 2 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 5 by 2 whole square. Now we can substitute the points one by one and we can check which of them is satisfying this circle equation. Otherwise what we can do, we know OB equals to 5 by 2 and we know OX equals to 2 because we said that it's a rectangle we have here. 5 by 2, 2 then by Pythagoras theorem this will be 3 by 2 xb is equals to ax so 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 is 3 minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 so the other point is minus 4 comma 0 through which this circle is passing through